It's been a busy itinerary for the Countess of Wessex, first meeting with the Special Olympics in a building that wasn't there the last time the Royals visited, then coming up here to Governor's Lookout to meet with the scouts and guides and partaking in some of the activities, and then very different scenery down at Sandy Bay. The afternoon events began with the Countess meeting the Chief Minister to tour the Special Olympics training facility in Europa. The Countess met with and spoke to those who run the day-to-day -day operations as well as the individuals who were training. Guided by the President and Chief Executive of Special Olympics Gibraltar, Annie Riso, the Countess got into the swing of things as she tried her hand at golf and floor hockey. So very honoured, very honoured that they have, you know, I know it's a tight s schedule that they have and last night I was thinking it's all going to change and then when we, you know, found that they still would be visiting and it's an honour, just, not just for, you know, for us uh, as a committee, as, a, as an established organisation, it's the, 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 the families in there, the athletes say, it's, oh, they're looking forward to this visit. Later, it was a visit to Governor's Lookout to meet the scouts and guides, who were busying themselves. The Countess, who was a brownie as a child, became the new president of Girl Guiding UK in 2003. Today, she met with scouts and guides leaders and the younger members. Again, keen to take part, she involved herself in activities, including archery, where she hit her target. The kids, you know, were, were, were excited about the visit, so a lot of them have interacted with the counters herself. Um, we had some activities on offer, and she's kindly taken up on one of them, which was archery. Uh, we've also been doing some climbing, but she obviously wasn't wearing the right shoes for, for the activity today. It's, it's been a wonderful experience, um, especially when she's been um, visiting us before. Uh, down at one of the guiding premises, but this time the girls were around, and it's been wonderful seeing the seeing her do activities with the girls. Um, and I think they thoroughly enjoyed having a royal so close and being able to speak to her. I found the experience like one in a million. I've never met anyone in the royal family, and it was a really good experience for me. She didn't really talk to me. I don't think, but I still like found it really amazing because what's the odds of actually being picked to meet it, to meet her? I found it really nice because um, we've been doing archery and it's been really fun and I've never done archery before. It's been an amazing opportunity. I've never thought I'd meet a royal member of the family. It's been really exciting. I've never thought that I would meet someone that's been the president of guides. And it's been really exciting for me, especially when we did um, putting up the tent. So it was all really fun. Before departing, the Countess planted a cork oak tree and a plaque solidifying her visit on this jubilee year. <laughs> and finally, a visit to Sandy Bay. The weather certainly called for it. The Countess took part in water-based activities with Gibraltar-based adventure and activity company Into Adventure. Activities were specifically designed for those with disabilities and special needs, including paddleboarding. And, always game, the Countess took to the paddleboard herself, a refreshing way to end a hot, busy afternoon.